Howdy, JP here. Um, I wanted to touch base on our new build that um, we've sort of put a few posts up what we're gonna do. Um, new land speed build now that the 50's got the record and the 100's got the record. We've been wanting to do something else. It was gonna be a 175 for a while. Um, and just having trouble finding a 175 engine really that that um, fits the bill. You know, we can do the whole sleeve down thing on build up thing, but you know, this um, it's easy when you can ring someone, say like the 50 here, if I need a barrel, I ring bit a lot and they send me a barrel. Um, on the 100, if we hurt something, we can get onto Kitako and Mini Mob in Canada and they'll send us a bit. Um, because there's a lot of hurt in land speed racing on an engine, especially over the mile when you're wide open. Um, it just compounds. So, you know, we're not against all the R, it's just a lot of R&D and stuff to build stuff that is not readily available. So we pref we prefer to take that route so we actually get to the track and we do some racing. And nothing against the teams that do all the R&D and spend years building stuff, but prefer to be uh, at the salt, uh, laying down some numbers and uh, letting them catch me in a couple of years and see how they go. So 250cc it looks like, which is pretty exciting because I'm going faster. Okay, it's not too fast, but it's, uh, we know we've probably got a goal of 170 plus, so it's starting the motor. Um, you know, the reason we didn't build a 1,000 cc originally because we didn't want to be going fast, but after a couple of years of going up to 130, um, you know, we've done, you know, probably done 40, 50 runs now, so done a lot of runs over 10 years, and uh, that'd be nice to go a little bit faster anyway, knock a few of those bigger bikes off. <laughs> anyway, so um, 250 compound supercharged. Um, so we're going to have one of these an AMR 500 or an ASIN AMR 500, or I should say, pumping into an AMR 300. Um, this one will actually be one we're using. This one is an old AMR 300, ASIN AMR 300 off Danny Plecker's um, posty bike when he used to run the blower and the turbo before he went compound turbo. Um, why blowers and not turbos? And I've had the question over the years, even with the blown bike, why the blower and not the turbo? Um, we had a build criteria back in 2013. It had to be loud and it had to look like a motorcycle. So it was loud and it's still loud. Um, as years went on and aerodynamics become a thing, it looked less and less like a motorcycle. Um, it looked more like a plastic bullet, you know? <laughs> so um, we tried to keep it, but that was our build criteria, loud and to look like a motorcycle. Um, a turbo just isn't that loud, you know? So. Nothing against turbos, but we're supercharger guys. So we'll be pumping this 500 into this 300. How that's going to work, we'll see how we go. We've got a few ideas there. Um, just while I'm talking about blowers, I wanted to talk about, this is an ASIN AMR 300. Um, a decade ago, really hard to find. We, we couldn't find, you know, they were super hard to find. But in saying that, uh, once you find one, there, there are two low brutes, so not the most efficient supercharger in the world and people pull us up off them all the time. Why don't you get another blower? It just, it's pretty hard to find small superchargers. They're not something that's readily available. This is a 300cc and the 100 is only 100cc. So you take what you can get. And the other bonus about these is that, you know, I think they're probably four or $500, um, which is pretty good horsepower and pretty good on the pocket. This here is an AMR 300. Like I said, 10 years ago, you couldn't find the Ace and AMRs. And all of a sudden, all these AMRs started popping up and these were a Chinese ripoff. Um, one main difference is the port size. So I'll pick them both up. The port size on the Chinese one is a lot smaller on both sides. There's not a lot of meat to make it bigger. So uh, it's one disadvantage. This one, when I got it, the rotors were actually locked up. It wouldn't, it would never, it won't even turn. So the rotors aren't even clocked. So it needs pulling apart. We've never run it. I've seen it used on a lot of mini bikes and look, it might be great for mini bikes. Um, but when you want big ports, big power, 24 pounds, these little AMR can, AMRs can pump if you run the fuel through them. Um, we did learn earlier that if you don't run the fuel through them, it doesn't seal the tips and they don't make the PSI. So. A 250 build, um, what bike we're going for. That's the next, just to sort of give you some ideas on on our schools of thinking, is that um, I've been looking at the CBR250RR, 
Um, the negative on the CBR 250RR is that they're old. They're 89, 90 now. They're, you know, it's a few years old now. 35 years old motorcycle. So um, finding bits for them, let alone performance bits or just finding spares for them. There's a lot of, um, you know, you can get on Facebook Marketplace here and there's, a, and there's a few around, complete bikes, but, you know, I don't know, finding good rods and, you know, good cranks for them and all may be a, uh, I haven't looked too far into that. Um, the internals are supposed to be pretty good, but a little bit old. That's what's pretty much put us off. I think if we can, we might lean towards a 250 single. Um, and it'll probably come from a dirt bike background only because dirt bikes have been making the power and they're, and they're new. You know, you can go back to 2010 with a KDM or a Honda or whatever, and they've got 40, they're a 40 horsepower 250. So they're only a couple of horsepower behind the, the inline four Honda. And they're only 15 years old. So um, parts are more readily available. We have the situation now with the blown 100 that you can't get parts from anymore. It, like the blown 100 the CRF was a 2006. I think they stopped making them in 2010, the, the 100cc air cooled. Um, so the 25 years, 20 or 15 years old, I should say. Um, you, you just don't get parts. They're not, you know, they're, they're, they're gone. They're history now. So, um, you know, valve guide seals and kitty go bits are all they've stopped producing lots of things so we've got a few spares if we need to run it again but um it's probably the end of the day if, um for the 100 cc and that's the one reason we'd want to go to something more modern for the 250 so probably looking at a single cylinder 250 with the 500 pumping into the three 300 um methanol probably no nitro with this setup big boost um, what's big boost? <laughs> um, what can the bottom end hold, really, is the question. We run 24 pounds in the 100 with 50% nitro. We'd be, liking we can, we can, we'd be hoping we can run 40 to 50 pounds um, on this project to make it worthwhile doing. Worthwhile doing for us um, to have a um, high boost um, 250. Uh, be exciting anyway, and no doubt we'll uh, learn a few lessons along the way. Um, I have Dad in my ear helping me, so um, I'm pretty comfortable with uh, the direction we're going. Um, the sort of bike now, um, if you ever saw Richard Aston's bike, it was, a, it was a, um, it's almost a kneeler with, your, with his feet behind himself and the engine behind the rider. We'll probably go that way, um, just to cut down on the frontal area. When you have this conventional type of motorcycle with the forks and the triple clamp, you can only come down so far. Um, with a with a with a front fairing and a triple clamp, you've only got so much room there. So, um, what these uh, leading front leading leading link front wheel setups allow you to do is allow you to be very low and remove that fork setup. Um, so it looks like we'll probably go that way. Um, it will be long. <laughs> so it'll be a two fifty behind me with the two blowers in line. Looks like. Um, and the dream is to have an ammo car about each side um, supplying it because we're going to need a fair bit of fuel um, to feed it. So there's an early stage about what we're up to with the 250 and what we're hoping to do. Um, you know, it could change because uh, it's, it's just what's readily available and we want to get to the track, of course. You know, we're not going to R&D it for years. We want to get there and run some numbers and get down there. So uh, you can spend all your life in the garage but you got at some point you've got to draw the line and get the track fire up and send it anyway thanks for your time hope that answers a few questions there have been a few people asking me over the years why not turbo why blowers what size are you going to so that's it over and out